Watch you guys got another video. Stay on Windows 10 after support ends. Microsoft have now released information about how much it's going to cost to have extended support for Windows 10. Now, if you have an old computer that is not able to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 via the official method because it doesn't have supported hardware, then this video is for you. Windows 10 is not going to be receiving any more security updates or feature updates after the end of life deadline, which is on October 14th, 2025. And that's left a lot of people in a pretty tricky dilemma because a lot of people want to continue to use their computer because it does everything they need it to do. But unfortunately, Microsoft have stringent, uh, you know, hardware requirements in place, which means officially they can't upgrade to Windows 11. Now, there is workarounds, but Microsoft could close the door on that at any time, and they have done in the past. Now, before we continue, just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. During the Black Friday period, you can get a juicy 30% discount on all of your purchases by using my promo code. If you're looking for a Windows 11 Pro OEM key, you can also buy them on this website. All of the links will be in the video description. They also do office suites on there as well. All you need to do is set up an account and click the buy now button on your product. Once you click on the links in the video description, and once you've done that, you can use my promo code right here where it says promo code. So type in here, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order. And this will then reduce the amount of purchase, as you can see here, down by 30%. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key. And then you will be able to then upgrade to Windows uh, 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro if you're on home or you can activate your version of Windows. So let's go over what the options are for you if you are running an old system that's not compatible with Windows 11. If you're running Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro, the end of life is October 14th, 2025. This means you will not receive any more security updates or feature updates for that operating system. If you're on Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2021, mainstream updates for that will end on January 12th, 2027. We also have a Windows 10 IoT Enterprise version as well, which is this one right here. And we'll go through that right now. So you can see mainstream end date will be January 12th, 2027. And the extended date will be January 13th, 2032. But these will be paid um, updates so you will need to pay for these and these will be quite expensive so they are your options but Microsoft have just released their information for home users basically uh, we never had the information about how much it's going to cost for extended security updates for individuals and organizations of all sizes right here Microsoft never mentioned how much it will cost for a home user to basically extend their uh, updates and security patches for that system but they have now and it's come to $30 now $30 is an option which you can pay to get another year support so $30 is around about 23 pounds and 16 pence for another year's support after October 14th 2025 you'll get another year and there's a real strong possibility that Microsoft may even extend that for another year after that because the amount of people that are still using Windows 10 and it's going to mean that a lot of computers millions of computers are going to end up as e-waste if they don't give some people some form of option to extend security patches and updates for that operating system now there is another option available which is called zero patch and we've talked about this before but basically you will not be receiving updates anymore if you don't pay for your updates after October 2025 from Microsoft. You can opt in to Zero Patch. It is a paid service, but basically what this is going to do is it's going to basically patch the system, of not at kernel level, but basically at the user space level when you're using a computer. It's basically going to update and patch uh, windows there and this is going to fix and patch uh, security vulnerabilities and software vulnerabilities on that system 
but it's not the same as the way Microsoft do it. Obviously, it's Microsoft's operating system, and they can patch the uh, complete system right to kernel level. So that's basically how Microsoft are going to be patching. But a lot of the patches that Microsoft offer are at user level. So you have to understand that this will suffice for a lot of people, uh, but it's also going to cost money to use this service just like it would if you was paying Microsoft. If I was offered uh, Microsoft's option as a home user, I would probably go with the Microsoft option only because it's their operating system, it is locked down, and it's probably going to be better uh, security updates from Microsoft than it would be from Zero Patch. But that's just my opinion. So if you're going for the pro version here, you can see uh, per agent per year, and you can see here zero patch. You can try it for 30 days and you can go through and it will tell you basically what you're going to get for your money. Now, there is a bunch of stuff that they are going to be patching. And it also includes what you get and what you don't get with the free version and the pro version and the enterprise version right here. If you are in a, uh, a tight jam and you really do want to keep your system patched, then these options are your only other alternative other than buy a new computer so you can see here on the uh, pro version you're going to get a lot more patching right here uh, for different types of windows 10 versions and they're doing different versions like 1803 1809 and so on so this is an option available to you if you don't want to buy a new computer like i said 24.95 euros Plus, you got to add tax to that. And that's going to be around about the $27 mark. But you'd need to add tax to that. Now, the other option is to use another operating system, which is free to use, which is Linux. And Linux has different flavors. Linux Mint is a really useful, easy one to use for a lot of people that are jumping from Windows to uh, a Linux operating system. Yes, there is some learning there that you're going to have to do but it's not that difficult if you want to test drive some linux distros you can do online and there's a bunch of them here uh, some of the more popular ones here you can uh, boot up and have a little look to see whether it's something that you would like to use now of course linux is not windows and windows is not linux there are two different operating systems and linux does have a lot of stuff that it can't do that Windows can do. And it's sometimes not with, uh, Linux's fault. It's to do with the hardware and software manufacturers that don't support Linux. And that means they just don't produce the software for it. So, for instance, Adobe uh, Photoshop and, and all the Adobe suite, that will not work on uh, Linux. Also, same some games you're going to get issues with, like Fortnite and uh, games like uh, Valorant, really popular games. They just don't work on Linux. And there's other, other software as well that just doesn't work on Linux as well. Now, this is not to bash Linux at all. This is just giving you the truth of what you're going to face. So if you're an hardcore gamer, it's probably not going to be an option for you. But if you're a light user that just uses the operating system to do emails, watch YouTube, and do some other stuff, then Linux is probably a really good option for you if you don't want to pay out any sort of money for patches and security updates to Microsoft or even Zero Patch. And of course, it does have its own office suite like LibreOffice and stuff like that. So you won't have to worry about a Microsoft Office as well. It's very similar to Microsoft Office. Another thing is the software is all free to use. Uh, it's completely different to what you're going to get on Windows, of course. But again, it is free software and you can download that as well and install it on the operating system it doesn't get attacked by malware as much so you don't really need an antivirus as such uh, because it's a complete different operating system and because uh, windows has the market share the uh you know malware hunters and creators will generally go after the bigger piece of pie which is windows so you can try uh, linux out if you want to it's not a bad operating system uh, the community sucks a little bit, to be fair. They are a little bit aggressive and a bit toxic towards Windows users. But hey, they sort of act like a, a smoker that's given up smoking and now they just hate everyone who smokes. Uh, so Linux users are like that. Once they've jumped from Windows to Linux, they generally want to hate on Windows or Microsoft or whatever it is. And I just don't have time for it. But other than that, it is a pretty good option for a lot of people that do have old systems that can't run Windows or they just don't want to pay 
for extended security patches with Zero Patch or with Microsoft. So the options are available out there. I think the $30 extended lifespan uh, for your machine is not too bad considering I thought it would be a lot more. But we, hopefully they will extend that even further for another year or two after that, which will give people plenty of time to be able to save some money to get themselves a new system. Let me know your comments and thoughts in the video description down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.